love it or hate it, but 2008's The Dark Knight is one of the most influential superhero movies of all time. Reuniting director Christopher Nolan with actor Christian Bale, the film is a dark journey into the cost of being a hero, an idea exemplified by the pure destructive force of nature that is the late and extremely great Heath Ledger. The Dark Knight is often hailed as one of the greatest movies of all time, not just within its genre, but in all of cinema. And it could have been even greater if we had gotten to see Batman's nunchucks. Yep, that's right, Batman, the Dark Knight detective had a set of nunchucks, or nunchaku, I'm not certain on the correct term, in the film which he never used. How do I know this? Well, a couple of years after The Dark Knight came out, Hong Kong-based toy manufacturer Hot Toys released a sixth-scale version of this Batman, along with a special armory edition. It's pretty great, and the best version comes with a Batman suit that you can display inside of it, figures of Alfred Pennyworth and Bruce Wayne, a ton of accessories, and of course, a set of nunchucks. So what's the story here? I had to know, I had to do some digging to get to the bottom of this. The most obvious thing to do would be to watch The Dark Knight again and keep an eye open on the scene when Batman goes to his home away from home, the Bat Bunker. You know, after he burned down Wayne Manor for reasons. It is worth mentioning that when Hot Toys produces a licensed figure, the company usually has access to film resources and materials that helps each sixth scale figure look so realistic and screen accurate to begin with. I went over each frame, analysed as best as I could, and lo and behold, I was kind of stumped. You never really see that part of the armory, but you can get a good look at the top half at least, with all of the gadgets there being faithfully replicated in the Hot Toys version. I am talking about sticky grenade launchers, gas canisters, and batarangs. If you saw them here, you'll see them in the replica. With that in mind, I was highly doubtful that Hot Toys added nunchucks just for the sake of it, so I decided to also look at concept art for the film. Although that was also a dead end, no nunchucks in sight. Some lovely art though. So yeah, it's a bit of a leap of faith to make this call, but I'll put stock in Hot Toys and guess that the company got the resources to faithfully replicate the entire armory. Hence, nunchucks. Now let's take a look at the actual nunchucks. I fortunately have this armory figure because I cannot be trusted with money. I'm a nerd, I am an adult, and this is what happens when I earn adult money. These are hard-hitting weapons designed to bust crime and skulls. Truth be told, if I saw a rich lunatic dressed as a bat running towards me while swinging these around, I would be absolutely terrified. Again, you have to scale this up because this is a sixth scale representation of the weapon, with this version looking like they were custom designed. I mean, can you imagine Bruce Wayne going up to Lucius Fox at Wayne Enterprises and dropping some hints that he wants nunchucks for his war on crime? Hell, can you even picture the scene of Batman telling Alfred that the only way that he can stop the Joker is to bash the clown prince of crime over the head with nunchucks? I am so sorry for what you're about to hear. Master Wayne, it's the Joker! He escaped jail, and he's holding two ships hostage with explosives. Alfred, he's pushed me into a corner. I'm going to have to use the nunchucks. Master Wayne, no. I made a vow to your parents to never let you do something so lame. Damn it, Alfred. Don't you see? The only way to fight the darkness of injustice is to use nunchucks. Now tell me, Alfred, where are my nunchucks? Where are they? Oh, for fuck's sakes, at least you're wearing a mask when you use these. Meanwhile, at the Joker's lair! Look out, Gotham. Nothing can stop the Joker. Nothing except nunchucks. Wait, what, what, what did you say? I let you, Joker. And that right there is the brief story of Batman's lost nunchucks. If anyone ever sees Christopher Nolan in public, please ask him about this. I'm dying to hear his comments on this. I have to know if there's more to the story. Maybe they were a nod to some forgotten Batman comic book story. Maybe Christopher Nolan's a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan. I don't know. 
but for now I'm going to sit back and wonder at what could have been. I'm going to imagine a Batman movie where the caped crusader was whacking the crap out of people with nunchucks. Oh man, this would have made The Dark Knight Rises so much better.